Hello, welcome to BioGrid TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. Biography of Mao Yaud Sid Ahmed Taya. Mao Yaud Sid Ahmed Taya was born in Atta, Mauritania, on the 28th of November 1941. He had a long reach education background as he started off at Franco Arabic Primary School between 1949 and 1955 before going to Rosso High School in southern Mauritania where he finally graduated in 1960. Afterwards, he attended French military school in 1960 and graduated as an officer in 1961. By 1963, he had joined the Military High Academy where he was qualified to join the French War Academy for strategic training in 1975. In 1978, the Mauritanian army seized power and ousted President Mokhtar Uld Dada in an attempt to prevent government collapse during the war in Western Sahara against the Polisario Front. Mauya Uld Taya was among the conspirators and quickly gained influence within the government. Just shortly after the 1978 conspiracy event, Taya was placed in charge of the Defense Ministry and was Chief of Police in 1980. He soon became the Chief of Army Staff in January 1981. Things even got better as he became the 5th Prime Minister of Mauritania on the 25th of April 1981 during the regime of Mohamed Kuna Uld Haidala. However, Mao Yaud Taya did the unthinkable as he staged a well-planned coup on the 8th of March 1984 to become the president of Military National Salvation Army. He also became the president of Mauritania after deposing Mohamed Kuna Ud Haidala in the coup. He steadied the ship until 1991 when he legalized political parties that was previously banned by the former military rulers. In 1992, he began to dominate the Mauritanian politics, which marked the beginning of democracy. On the 17th of January 1992, Taya staged the first multi-party presidential election in Mauritania, which received a massive support from the majority. No wonder he won with a convincing result of 62.65% votes. He ran a tightly controlled government with series of national and municipal elections held across the country. Interestingly, Taya spent about 11 years in office as a democratic president in what looked like a lifetime to the opposition parties. However, Taya won't be forgotten for his stand against poverty, radicalism, corruption and also good education for everyone. He'll be remembered for his role in making Mauritania become the third Arab country after Egypt and Jordan to establish full diplomatic relations with Israel in October 1999. As the years wind down, Mao Yaud Taya's rule began to experience dangerous loopholes as unrest within the military began to bubble and hostility between the government and the Islamist group began to raise eyebrows. It all started when Taya refused to support Iraq during the 1991 Gulf War. While the daring Saddam Hussein was the president of Iraq, Taya pitched his tent towards Western countries back then. In 2003, he silenced the troops under the leadership of Sailor Ud Hanina after two days of fighting at the capital in Nuakchot. Later in September same year, he encountered another military coup. By 7th November 2003, he recontested for another presidential election and as the incumbent, he had a sliding victory of 66.69% votes. Although the opposition parties disagreed with the result, which was tagged fraudulent. In 2004, Taya was already losing support of the people and trust in military as another coup was staged, 
but was lucky enough to counter them again. As there's an end to this note, so also a terrible event took place in August 2005, when Mao Yaud Taya travelled to Saudi Arabia for the funeral of King Fad. This time, his enemies made no mistake at all as soldiers seized government buildings and took over the state media. The group, which identified itself as the Military Council for Justice and Democracy, announced the coup in a statement aired by the state news agency on the 3rd of August 2005. The populace were made to believe that the country had suffered under his regime. Taya fled to France before heading to Niger, where he was welcomed by President Tanja Mamadou at Niamey Airport. During his exile, the United States particularly called for Mao Yaoud Taya's reinstallation to power, but subsequently backed down by the military government in Mauritania. After all hopes of getting back to power was dashed, he and his family flew to Qatar on the 22nd of August 2005, where they took refuge till date. In late 2013, Mao Yaoud Taya was appointed senior teacher at the Ahmed bin Mohammed Military School, a military academy in Qatar. What have we missed out of this biography of Uld Taya? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.